Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revy Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. It's a nice and quick one today again. We will see how to resolve and avoid this problem. It usually comes up when you try to draw subregions or topo surfaces that touch or are very close to one another. When this happens, Revit is not very useful. If you try to click on show, it will just show the regions that are not combining well. Whereas what we really want to see is where along their boundaries that we have an intersection or an overlapping condition. So without that information, it's very hard to avoid or resolve this problem. But today, I will show you a trick that you can use to almost never run into this issue again. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. All right, let's get started. I will firstly cancel the sketch of this region here. It's not working for me anyway. And going back to 3D, I will just delete it. We will draw this region again, but this time using our trick to make sure everything works nicely. So to begin with, I have this single region here that is hosted on the bigger parent topo surface. When I go to level one now, or maybe site, it's the same region there. Now, let's say we want to draw another sub region going around this curved portion of the first one. This is what usually we have to do. We go to massing and site. I can go sub region. And now, unlike other Revit objects, and this is why it's so difficult, you cannot pick lines in the boundaries of an existing sub region. If I go and do that anyway, I will quickly see that it's not possible. When I try to pick something from here, nothing lights up, so I never can pick them. Instead, what people usually have to do is they have to go here and then manually create the same lines again for the new subregion sketch. So I would try to take my best guess here, maybe snapping to these points. Even so, sometimes you will get more points to snap to and you never know which one is correct. This is a very simple subregion. But if you're working on master plan in Revit, you will see and understand very fully that sometimes it's a lot more complicated and redrawing lines one by one like this is not really an answer. If you make a mistake, you will quickly run into that same problem before that we saw about subregions cannot overlapping one another. It's just not efficient. So here comes a trick. Let me cancel this for a moment. And we can go to 3D, select this subregion there, and now we can edit its boundary. The trick is that we can try to copy those lines from this sketch to the sketch of the new subregion. To copy them, I simply can go up here and then click on copy to clipboard. Nothing seems to happen, but they are copied now. I can now cancel the sketch editing mode. And then go back to massing and site. We can start now create the new second subregion. In here, instead of tracing over the lines manually like I did before, we can simply go to paste and choose to paste what we copied from earlier to a selected player balls. Now, in my experience, you can choose any level really, as long as they are not very far away from the actual level where you have this first region drawn. So in our case here, any of those should do. The roof line may struggle, but I can go for maybe level one and it should work. So as you can see there, those lines are now copied exactly to the same location as in the first sketch, but now they are here in my second sketch. Now it's just a matter of completing my sketch, and that's super easy to do now. Of course, make sure it's a closed loop, and we can now finish the second region. Here we go. No sweat in trying to redraw or trace over the existing boundaries. I can simply copy them across and use them in my new sketch. One point of caution though, when you do this trick, make sure to do it in a 3D view like I've done. If you instead go to a plan view, maybe to site, let's say you try to go in here and copy the same sketch lines again, these three there. Just like before, we can go to copy to clipboard or press Ctrl C, finish, or cancel this sketch, make a new one, and try to paste in the lines we copied. This time you can even go for current view, but for consistency, I will go again for selected levels. Level one again, we can choose and do okay. 
You can see, when you try to do the same thing in plan view, those lines, when they are pasted, they may also be rotated. And that only be because your plan view, it has more advanced settings in terms of orientation, project north, true north, and so on. All of that can affect the orientation of the new lines we paste in. That's why when you do this, it's much safer to do it in 3D because here you don't have to worry about orientation that much. So fewer things can go wrong. There you go. If you enjoyed this lesson and want more like this coming every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel. For now, practice what you've learned and I'll see you in the next lesson.